for St. River, the patron saint of gardening. On stage, Ed's a bundle of energy, but when the lights go down, he's a nervous wreck. His day job at a call centre destroys him, his relationships roller coaster from blissful to poisonous. He's broke and tired and plain fed up. Make as much comedy of that as you will. Catherine, real tears of a clown type stuff, this, isn't it? It is, but that makes it sound a bit cliched, I think. And it isn't. It just, it's come out of nowhere, this film. I really just wasn't expecting it. And isn't it great? I mean, what a great film. It's sort of funny people meets mumblecore, meets weekend, meets skeletons. And it's really great. And it's, the, you know, the sort of tragedy of the laughless comedian is, is not sort of overplayed. And, and it's absolutely beautifully played. And it's so atmospheric about London and about, you know, being on buses at night and all that sort of thing. Um, and and it's, it's very unembarrassing. You know, this guy is, is torn between um, a new boyfriend and a, a sort of interest in his female flatmate. And it's, it reminded me slightly, we were talking about Tom Hollander, reminded me of that film Lawless Heart from about a decade ago. And that had a very nice tone about that sort of similar topic. And, and it really, I really like this film. So it's absolutely terrific. Peter, it's a really simple but truthful view of late night London as well, I it thought. It's absolutely it's not great. At I all. mean, I like Catherine. I've only just caught up to this film. Uh, apparently it was in the London Film Festival last year and I missed it then. I'm, I'm so glad to have caught up with it now. It's absolutely terrific. What I loved about it is that it keeps you guessing ab about what it's centrally about. Because I thought, oh, OK, it's about this guy. He wants to be a comedian. He's got his day job in a call centre. Obviously, he's rubbish as a comedian, and obviously his day job as a call centre is terrible and demeaning and terrible. And uh, both those things are true. And the scene in which he goes down the pan and gets no laughs, it's stunningly real. It's, uh, it, it, hurts. it could have been. It hurts because it's real. He's almost got it. He's almost funny, but not quite. And the other scene where he's yelled at by his boss, his, bo his, his awful kind of not quite funny enough to be David Brent boss for being terrible, and he starts crying out of pure humiliation. So it really was tears of a clown. That was almost unwatchably good because it was real. It was absolutely real. I thought it was great. And you think, well, how much does, does his identity as a comedian really mean to him? Maybe it's not. If, if, he, if he does very well, will that be the fulfillment of every single dream he's ever had? If he does badly, is that a central catastrophe in his life? Maybe not. Maybe his, his identity as a comedian is not very important in the film. I think you're right in that the, um, the plotlessness of it is mm. almost one of its benefits. I did think there was going to be a stand-up competition that he would go on to triumph yeah. at, and I'm so glad there wasn't. Exactly. <laughs> a, 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 a bad film would have done that. Mm. A bad film would have done precisely that. It would have made him worse or better, but just making him almost good enough, almost convincing as a, as a stand-up. Presumably, he's never earned a penny as a stand-up in his life. What he's doing is, is open mic. And th that culture now which is a really interesting part of London culture. It's a kind of subsurface culture of doom, all these kind of wannabes never making it. Mm. Reminded me a little bit of Inside Lewin Davis, which I was we just, just saw thinking, at Cannes yeah. Film Festival, yeah. Yeah. of being good at something, but not good enough. Maybe not yeah, quite good it enough, brilliantly yeah. pitches that, it brilliantly pitches mm. that. And also, the, exactly, it's exactly the same film, actually. How weird mm. that it's come out now. Yeah, perfect. And it's, it's as good. It's really as good. I saw you tonight on the... Uh, at the... Uh, <laughs> 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 it was really bad, eh? Huh? Bad. No, no, yeah. No, yeah. No, no, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it wasn't bad, I just... It was just strange, I said that, strange. Strange isn't a complimentary word. Like you wouldn't go, hey, what a strange-looking baby. That would be like a compliment. It was awesome. It was brilliant. Who told you you were funny? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you.